Oh boy, we got another priest in a sex scandal. These are always fun. So, uh, let us immediately tell you what this is about. A Catholic priest in the Bronx is being accused in a new lawsuit of stealing over a million dollars, whoa, Jesus, Lord mercy, from two different churches over a number of years and using the money to pay for a male prostitute. Say it with me. Of course, but it's about to get much better. First of all, it's Reverend Peter McKelly, and he apparently stole, allegedly, from St. Francis de Chantal's church in Slaragsnek and St. Francis Cabrini Church on Roosevelt Island. Okay, now, what did he uh, use that money towards? Well, there's a lawsuit now that's trying to recoup that money, and the suit explains, it's filed by some of his parishioners, says that McKelly paid the prostitute $1,000 a session to act out his sexual fantasies, and apparently part of that involved BDSM slave slash slave master role playing, oh boy. Okay, now, believe it or not, that is not the worst part. First of all, uh, let us show you the body of Christ, Keith Christ, uh, that is the, uh, allegedly the gay uh, male prostitute that was used. Although whether he's gay is a matter of question, but perhaps he's bisexual, I don't know. I don't know anything about this gentleman except for what you're about to find out, which is amazing. His ex-girlfriend got involved here and explains, uh, Keith has been Father McKelly's gay for pay prostitute. More specifically, Father McKelly is Keith Chris, toilet slave. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is about to get good. This is about to get good. The ex girlfriend of, of Chris says, If you don't know what that means, Cardinal, she sent a letter to the Cardinal, Cardinal Tim, uh, Timothy Dolan, okay? If you don't know what that means, Cardinal, I will break it down for you. Oh, Tatiana, please do. Please do. Have at it, Hoss. So here we go, everybody buckle up. She explains, Keith Christ uses Father McKelly as his toilet. <laughs> when Father McKelly drinks his piss during their weekly three-day get-togethers, when they take off to Father McKelly's house in Brick, New Jersey, far away from prying eyes. And she adds, just for an extra little bit of spice, oh, by the way, the fa good father has a, quote, full-blown dungeon. I mean, you don't want to go with a half-ass dungeon. If you're going to be a toilet slave, you got to do it right. <laughs> Priests, religious leaders, you kidding me? Come on, man. Who still believes that you should bow down to authority? Oh, no, no, that's, a, that's a, the Holy Father, right? Oh, 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 that's a mullah we should respect, about a rabbi. A, that's a guru, whatever. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Next time uh, you want to give undue deference to a religious leader, remember the toilet slave. <laughs> that should be the new chant of the atheist. Remember the toilet slave. <laughs> Full-blown dungeon. What other kind of dungeons are there? <laughs>